It should be the basis of self-love. Like what things? Is it what you were just saying? And for it's me, like you're looking for the win-win or? For me, this is just how I work because it's how my brain works. I, I rate myself at the end of every day. I rate myself in my health, my relationships, my business, my spirituality, I mean everything. I just try to give myself a rating from one to 10. How did I do? Right. Uh, and I rate myself in my emotional well-being. Where am I at? Am I at a one or a 10 today? It's like my health, I rate it. My business, how do we do today in my business? Uh, my relationships with, with my girlfriend and the relationships in general, uh, my spirituality. Those are the main things that I Those focus on. Those are the ones, on. yeah. Okay. Uh, if I want to rate myself on like creativity and play and adventure, I can do that like other ancillary things, but it's usually those four core things. And I give myself a scale, you know? And where am I at? And why am I a four? What happened today what, because that made it a four? Mm. And what would make it a 10? So I just, again, am aware. Out of curiosity, myself, do you put those like, if two of them are conflicting, um, mm. like your business and your relationship, which yes. is from a time perspective yes. can often be a conflict. Mm -hmm. Where do they fall? Like if you had to make them hierarchical, where would you put my them? My vision is my main thing in my okay. life. And I feel horrible telling my family and my girlfriend and my friends that my vision is my main thing. But it doesn't mean that everything else is not a big priority. Sure. And that I don't put my friends, my family, my relationship at a very high level and give them a ton of time and attention and I'm present fully when I'm with them. But for me, I just feel like my vision is the most important thing. And part of that includes my business, part of that includes my traveling to do uh, work um, and every interaction that I have. So it's part of every interaction as well. So I just am constantly evaluating based on those things. And I say, where am I at? What would make it a 10? What would I need to do? It's never gonna be perfect, but I like to scale things and just rate and evaluate. Give me feedback. I welcome feedback. How can I make it better? Mm. How can I improve? How can I grow? Because I don't I feel like if we're just not getting feedback, then we think we know it all. We think we're, we're like already as smart as we need to be. And I know I'm uh, never the smartest person in the room and I just welcome information and feedback. Some things land, some things go right be behind me, um, but I'm constantly a demand for feedback in my life.